Hey folks, welcome back to Military Forces Unleashed. Today we're diving into a project that could reshape the future of aviation as we know it. Ever heard of the Quarter Horse by Hermias? If not, buckle up, because this is one wild ride. The Quarter Horse isn't just another supersonic jet prototype. It's a bold statement in military and commercial aviation. With hypersonic capabilities and jaw-dropping design, it promises to push boundaries or maybe hit some turbulence along the way. Stick around as we break it all down. Let's rewind to 2018 when Hermius, a startup with sky-high ambitions, was founded. The mission? to create hypersonic aircraft capable of cruising at Mach 5, five times the speed of sound. Initially, this sounded like a pipe dream, but by 2021, their prototype, the Quarter Horse, caught the attention of the U.S. Air Force. Fun fact, the Quarter Horse is powered by a modified GE J85 engine, originally used in 1950s jet fighters. Yep, Hermaeus repurposed Cold War tech to reach 21st century speeds. If that doesn't scream ingenuity, what does? The Quarter Horse is designed to be the fastest reusable aircraft ever. Think about it. Traveling from New York to London in under two hours, its streamlined design and cutting-edge thermal management systems aim to tackle the intense heat generated at Mach 5. But here's the kicker. This isn't just about speed. It's about creating a reliable, cost-effective hypersonic platform. The engine transition is where the magic happens. The Quarter Horse can switch between turbojet and ramjet modes, ensuring efficiency at subsonic speeds and raw power for hypersonic flight. This dual-mode propulsion system is what sets it apart from conventional aircraft. The military potential is immense. Imagine deploying a hypersonic aircraft for reconnaissance or strike missions. It would outpace traditional defenses. But there's also a civilian angle. Delivering people and cargo globally in record time could redefine logistics. Here's the reality check. While the Quarter Horse promises unmatched speed and innovation, it's not without challenges. Hypersonic flight is notoriously expensive and riddled with engineering hurdles. Materials that can withstand extreme heat, efficient fuel systems, and overall reliability remain major concerns. And then there's the budget. Hypersonic tech is a money pit, and with competition from major players like Lockheed Martin and DARPA, Hermias has its work cut out. Also, critics argue that the focus on hypersonic speed might overshadow practical concerns like safety and operational costs. So. Is the Quarter Horse the future of aviation or just another ambitious experiment? It's likely both. While it has the potential to revolutionize the skies, there's still a long runway ahead before we see hypersonic travel become mainstream. Got thoughts on the Quarter Horse? Drop them in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into military tech. Thanks for watching Military Forces Unleashed. Your support keeps us flying high. See you next time!